Hey guys, RTT back here for the video guys. Today we're going to go and talk about how to optimize your computer in 2020 for the best game settings possible. Now, of course, this is so you can go ahead and make sure you're able to get the best game settings and get the most frames per second, which we all look for. Now, my current GPU I'm rocking is an RTX 3090 Founders Edition, but you can go ahead and use this for a 1080 Ti, a 2070 Super, a 2070, a 2080 Super, 2080 Ti. It does not matter. All you want to make sure you have is a NVIDIA card. If you have an AT, uh, uh, AMD, this is not the video for you. You want to make sure you have a NVIDIA card. It could be a NVIDIA all the way back since the beginning or right now. So first off, guys, what we're going to do is if, let's say, for example, you just got a card. And if you are just upgrading your card right now, you're putting a brand new card in there. What you're going to go ahead and do is download the software I have down below. And what this pretty much will do, as you can see right here on your screen, it will go ahead and let you disable and delete all existing um what's it called all existing files on your cp uh, all existing drivers for your gpu so you go ahead and open up the software you're going to go ahead and select your uh, gpu and then you can see right here i can go ahead and click on this one right here clean and shut down it will get rid of every single graphic uh driver you have when you uh on your computer and you can download all the brand new ones which i will leave a link down below in the description on where to download the brand new drivers now the reason why you do this guys and i know you might think oh that's not really that important it is so freaking important and i can't stress that enough the difference when i went ahead and did this versus before i did this it was completely night and day like i can't even stress enough how important this is i went from probably plus 17 18 fps doing this exact method because you don't realize how much, especially if you go through different graphics cards, how much drivers you still have on your computer. And you don't really realize that until you start doing what I'm doing here. And then obviously it changes. So next thing you want to do after you go ahead and optimize that, guys, is you can go to the link down below in the description. And it's going to take you to NVIDIA's website. All you're going to do is put in your exact graphics card. It's going to ask you exactly what your graphics card is. You're going to go ahead and put in your exact graphics card. And you're going to download the latest drivers for your graphics card. Once you go ahead and do that, you're going to go ahead and let me go ahead and show you. You're going to get a download just like uh, this right here. And you can see right here, once I go ahead and click on that, I can double click on that running administrator. And then I'm just going to install the exact drivers. Once you get done installing the exact drivers, you're going to go ahead and go down to the left hand corner here, guys. You're going to go to power button and click restart and restart your whole entire PC. The reason why I'm going to do that, guys, is because of the fact that you want all the drivers to take effect to go through and everything to work out perfect now you are restarted your latest drivers you have your all your old drivers uninstalled you're ready to go next thing you're going to do guys right click on your desktop go ahead and go down to the video control panel like again if you have amd this is not the video for you and then once you go ahead and open this up you're going to see on your screen right here that it's literally very very simple you're going to go ahead and go to the left hand side here i'm going to start off with manage 3d settings now, what I want you to do, guys, actually, let's go ahead and go back real fast. Uh, right here, there's nothing. We're, I'm just going to tell you this real fast. We're going to go ahead and go to um, your whatever monitor you have. I have an LG 34-inch ultra-wide right here. I'm going to click on that monitor, and you can see there's two options here. It says with the video player settings, or it says with NVIDIA settings. Click on that. Go ahead and go down to advanced. This will be set to limited. Set this to full. Now, if you are playing on the, on the TV... So if you're playing on a monitor, set that to full. If you're playing on a TV, like again, I, for example, have a smart TV. If you're playing on a smart TV or any kind of TV, set that to limited. But on a monitor, set that to full. And I know you're going to, so I'm going to ask this question. Wait, isn't a monitor and TV the same thing? Not at all. <laughs> Definitely. There are a lot of PC guys will roast you for that. Uh, comment, can I actually not over Reddit? PC and monitors are completely different, guys. So anyway, if you're on PC, full. If you're on monitor, I'm sorry, if you're on a TV, limited on a PC or I'm on a monitor, full. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and get right into the settings. So starting off right away, you're going to go ahead and go to adjust image settings with preview. Set that to use the advanced 3D settings, image settings. So that's number one. We're going to go ahead and set that up there. Now going down this list, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys the settings. And all I want you to do, guys, is copy exactly what I have on the screen right now. Uh, so for image sharpening, we're going to set this to sharpening off. 
scale disabled for ambient uh occlusion we're going to set that to off uh for filtering we're going to set that to application controlled um and keep in mind guys every time you update your drivers or you go ahead and install new ones you have to redo these it resets all these settings so keep that in mind Applic um for uh filtering we can set the application control for xfaa we're gonna set that to off game correction on uh for mode application controlled uh for transparency off for g uh cuda gpus we're gonna set that to all next thing we're gonna do is dsr factors 2.00 times native resolution for dsr smoothness we're gonna set this either you can set two different things zero or 33 percent recommended is 33 percent but you can change this around and try it out and see what works best for you next thing we're going to do is for low latency game mode we're going to set this to off now if you have a really good gpu you can set this to on and it obviously low latency not much issue when it comes to gaming so it again you can set this off but if you have a good enough system a good enough you know piece of hardware set that to on and it can actually help a lot now there's two different ways you can do this so for max frame rates you can set this to off which will again go ahead and give you as much frame rate as possible or you can set this to on for max frame rate and what this actually does guys is if you go ahead and set this to whatever your monitor's resolution is so for example mine is 144 hertz uh actually it's 144 i can overclock it to 160. if i set this right now to 160 yes i am capped at 160 which honestly doesn't matter because you can't get over 160 anyway because your monitor doesn't support it but what this does now is because it doesn't have to go up to like 320 380 400 right theoretically speaking you run smoother 160 fps than you would if you didn't set the setting up and the reason why again is because you're able to actually your your hardware doesn't have to go above that it can just say okay 160 160 we're capped we can make sure we get the best 160 possible next thing we have here is going to be g-sync if you do have g-sync on your monitor we'll talk about this a little bit later if you don't obviously you're going to set that to off but if you do you can set that to on you can set uh sorry you can set it on or if you don't have it fix refresh i recommend doing fix refresh personally but if you do have g-sync it does help out a little bit so now let's go ahead and talk about multi-frame sample we're going to set that to off we're going to set rendering gpu now again it if you only have one GPU, it's not really a big deal. We'll just auto select. You can set it on auto select. I like to select whatever uh, PC or GPU I have, which is the RTX 3090. Power management, we're going to set this to uh, perform maximum performance. It will be set to uh, optimal power. Set this to prefer maximum performance. For your preferred refresh rate, you're going to set that to application controlled. For shader cache, we're going to set that to on. For uh, texted, texting texture filtering we'll set that to on for our um negative uh bios we'll set that to allow quality performance and then we're going to set this optimization to on our optimization right here to on a uh, buffering to off of vertical sync to use the 3d application settings and the last two last three are going to be for vr content and we'll personally, unless you do our VR headset, you're connecting, you can go ahead and change those settings yourself, but we're going to let them be default. Once you go ahead and do that, guys, you can go ahead and go over to, um, and make sure also, I forgot to say, make sure you click on apply at the very bottom of the screen. That's going to go ahead and make sure it applies all the settings. Uh, make sure you hit apply once you get that done. Next thing guys, we're going to go ahead and do is go to change resolution. Now, personally speaking, I always recommend you go ahead and run native resolution when you're doing these on um, your monitor or you're playing on your monitor so for example my monitor is 3440 by 1440 native which of course is my native resolution and you can see i do have 160 hertz as one of my options i can choose again recommendation would be using your top refresh rate and that's why we set it with the exact you know um that's why we set it with the exact number for our refresh rate um so we our frames per second now again you can use other you know things but i don't recommend doing i recommend doing that now again this applies to both your um monitors if you have two monitors set up it would be a little bit different now let's go ahead and talk about adjusted uh desk uh, top color settings i recommend leaving this honestly the same there's nothing really to change here 
And now let's set up G-Sync. Now, if your monitor does have G-Sync, this is where you're going to go ahead and use this. If it doesn't, then of course, you wouldn't have, as you saw in my setting before, you have as fixed refresh rate. Um, It's not really a big deal. But if you do have G-Sync, you can go ahead and enable it. And then go ahead and click apply down here. And bam, you will have G-Sync. You'll have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a black screen show up. And that's pretty much it. And if you do have it, you're going to go back up to adjust, uh, manage uh, 3D settings and then go down here where we did have, of course, what we had before with modern technology. We'll make sure we have G-Sync compatible. So guys, that is pretty much it. Now, from doing those simple settings, I went from 140 FPS to up to 157. 17 FPS plus on my 3090 from using just those settings, guys. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Helps out the channel crap ton. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.